Hey y'all, this is Mary and you're watching Cards TV and today we're going to make a super quick card for St. Patrick's Day and we're going to use some things from the Cricut. Now, if you don't have a Cricut expression but you have an explorer or a maker, you can use all these same elements to make this card and it's really quick and easy because we have a Cards TV card sketch. If I can pick it up. <laughs> now this is card sketch 48. And you'll find all the card sketches over on my blog. Cardstv.blogspot.com And if you'll look up at the top under the title of the blog. You'll see Mary's card sketches. And you can go and download one, two, or all of them. To wherever you keep your photographs. And they're all free to download. And I put the measurements on each one so you can just go ahead and cut everything out and have it ready to go. Now we're going to be using a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, which we've already got. And our first mat is going to be four by five and a quarter. And I wanted it to have a scalloped edge. So I went to Elegant Edges, one of my favorites, and I cut this one out. And you'll find this on page 52 if you're using a Cricut Expression. It's shift and oblong. And I cut this one right here at five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to go ahead and take my glue and get this put down on the front of the card. Okay, now if we look at the sketch, we see that we have small squares and they're all one inch. And we've got eight of these squares. And they're going to go right around the outside of this green mat. And then right here, we have another square. Let me get it over here. And it's going to go right there on the right side of the card. And it's going to be surrounded by these squares. And this little square... I use that same Elegant Edges cartridge, except I cut the square. So I hit Shift, and then uh, right here it shows you which key. And if you don't have this cartridge or Cricut Expression, you can do this in Design Space, just like this background map. Or if you have scalloped dies, you can do this too. So I cut this at two and a quarter. And I went ahead and stamped it. You are my lucky charm. And I forgot to bring the stamp set. Hang on, I'll grab it. I got my stamp sets right behind me. The stamp set is called All About You. And I know it's up here. <laughs> well, I'll show it to you in a minute. I can't find it right now. But it's there. Anyway, you are my lucky charm. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave this right here to kind of help me gauge where I'm going to put all these squares. And I'm going to start gluing these down one at a time. And let me grab some tweezers so I can pick them up and get some glue on them. And I'm just going to start, I'm going to put one here, one here, and then I can line up the one in the center so that the gap in between is even. And I know y'all have done this before. It just helps you get the same amount of gap in between each one. So I'll get my glue and I'll go find that stamp set. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back in just a minute and finish up this card. Okay, we're going to get this last little square on here. There we go. I got this uh, cute little plaid from this uh, perfectly plaid Christmas set from Lawn Fawn. And even though it's a Christmas set, you can see these colors can be used any time of year. Of course, it is perfect for Christmas, but I saw this one and I thought that would make a really pretty 
St. Patrick's Day card. This one is not quite where I want it. Let's see. Let me twist it just a little bit. Okay. Now, I found the stamp set. <laughs> this is a Cards TV set called It's All About You. We've got You Are My Shining Star, You Are My Hero, You Make Me Giggle, You Go Girl, Missing You, You Make My World Go Round, You Did It, You Light Up My Life, You Amaze Me, It's All About You, You Are My Lucky Charm, which is what we're using today, You Make Me Proud, You're the Best, and You Make My Heart Go Pitter-Patter. <laughs> and I have these available in my online stamp store that's cards tv stamps.blogspot.com if you'd like to pick this one up just hop on over and place your order and i'll get them right out to you okay now to go on here because we do need a little lucky charm right i use two more cricut cartridges i cut out this really shiny little horseshoe and I cut this horseshoe out. I know I wrote it down. Okay. At an inch and a half. And this is from Create a Critter 2 on page 38. Now, they've got it upside down, which means all the luck is running out, right? <laughs> so, our horseshoe has got to go this way. So, our luck stays inside. And I cut a four-leaf clover, which is also going to go on here. And this came from the designer's calendar cartridge. And I cut my clover at an inch and a quarter. And this is on page 30. And as I said, if you don't have those cartridges, just uh, check your design space. Or you may have some dies to cut these out. So I'm going to get these attached together. And I'm going to put some foam tape on here. And I'm going to use that thin foam tape I got from Dollar Tree. I have enough left, I think, to get this done. Yeah, I still have a little bit of that. So I'll get those together, and I'll get this attached, and get these on the card. And on the inside, I'm just going to stamp Happy St. Patrick's Day. So I'll bring you back in a minute when I get all this attached to the card. Here's our finished card. And I think it turned out really cute. Love the green and white. And then that added shine of that little gold horseshoe. So cute. I'm so glad you guys came by today. Now next we're going to start doing some Easter cards. And I know everybody loves doing Easter cards. So be ready for that, guys. They'll be coming up soon. As always, I love you all. God bless you all, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.